Okay, from Montreal, Quebec, uh, here in Canada. This is uh, from Unibro, or Unibro, Unibro uh, Blanche de Chamblay, uh, basically a white beer, and it's uh, unfiltered uh, white beer in the style of uh, a Belgian uh, wit, okay? Uh, so basically uh, Unibrew is famous for taking Belgian styles and and recreating them in their own uh, their own special way uh, It's gained them world world renowned fame I guess and this is the very first Unibrew beer I've actually uh, been able to get my hands on which is pretty exciting so we're gonna try it out um, it said not to use uh, a goblet so uh, it was actually a stemmed uh, uh, flute glass, I guess, uh, but I don't have anything quite like that. Um, this is about the closest I have is the tulip glass, so it should suffice. It should be okay. So, without further ado, we're going to uh, get into the into the review. Hey, some smoke there for uh, JD, Jody. Okay, so we're going to pour it now. So yeah, this is an unfiltered uh, white uh, wit. And it's 5% ABV. Yeah, I can see the floaters. I don't think you probably see them on the camera, but... There's some pretty big floaters going on down there. Okay, and as you see, it's sort of got um, that big head you would expect. Very yellow in color. Uh, very uh, sort of a sort of a tangerine bordering on yellow kind of kind of color. Very very nice. You don't rarely see a beer with a color like that. It's the, it's the haziness in it that's it's sort of taken away from the goldenness and. The, Man, it's really beautiful actually. Really nice head, sort of a pillowy kind of foamy head. Take a smell now. Oh. Reminds me of Duval. Very spicy. Um, the citrus and the... Um, Mmm, kind of, kind of peppery and spicy, but at the same time, there's that citrus you would expect. Very nice, probably coriander in there. Oh man, that's nice. Yeah, sort of a citrusy, peppery kind of smell, uh, and it's not strong or sharp or anything. It's very sort of, um, very smooth, very smooth kind of, if you can call a. An aroma smooth, then this would be it. It's very, very smooth. Very nice. Okay, so we're going to take a taste now. The head's gone down a bit here. Just twirl it around a bit here. Yeah. Very peppery finish. Um, not too bitter. Definitely some um, spiciness in there. goes down very very smooth and it's it's got a very peppery finish to it um, it reminds me of Duval uh, more than it would say um, Ho Garden or Who Garden I mean mmm <clears throat> very dry peppery finish yeah Mm, really good, really, really good. Um, now wheat beers and uh, white beers, etc. Not exactly my favorite style of beer, but um, this is an exceptional. Um, it's a very it's sort of a mild kind of uh, uh, white beer. Um, it's very smooth, very mild, kind of um, not doesn't have any real strong pangs of flavor either way. It's just a very sort of nice balance between citrus and uh, the peppery kind of taste. 
Mmm, that's really good. Definitely makes you want to eat something. Uh, this will probably be pretty refreshing uh, during the summer, nice hot summer day. Not something I'd buy every day, but um, damn. Hot. Um, I'll give it a four. Four to five. So, um, I'm going to finish this off and it's going to take me a while. Blanche de Chamblay, four to five from Uni Brew, uh, an exceptionally good Belgian style wit.